Hi guys, my name is Rob Richards and you're watching Fit Foods, the food program that takes lean cuisine up to a whole nother level. That's right, on today's show I'll be taking a look at one of Europe's favorite restaurant dishes, lasagna, and how you can take this once weekly calorie loaded guilt meal and with a few simple changes to the ingredients, turn this into an everyday balanced healthy meal. Ideal for those looking at adding some lean muscle mass or even burning a few pounds of body fat. So what are we waiting for? Let's take a look at the ingredients. First off are these yams. Now yams may not be part of a traditional lasagna dish and for that we're going to do away with the lasagna pieces. Often they're processed and contain higher amounts of sugar due to the, the processed carbohydrates. So we're using these, a complex natural whole carbohydrate, meaning they're unchanged from their original form. Although mentioning pasta, I do have some whole grain wheat pasta here that we're gonna add to this to keep our complex healthy carbohydrates up there. Great for that prolonged release of energy throughout the day. And over here we have our proteins, fats, and all the greens and vitamins and minerals that we're gonna be using. So let's have a look at these. First of all, we're doing away once again with the traditional beef in favor of this great healthy high protein, good fats, salmon, and a few of these guys here, fresh shrimp, as well as a couple of eggs, again, for some fats and our essential complete proteins. And then what we have here, some mushrooms, arugula salad, lemon, onions, tomato, onions, peppers, and finally, some avocado for some more fresh fats. Confused? Well, stay with me because now we're gonna break down the ingredients and show you how to make the perfect balanced lasagna dish. To start with the yam, all I'm gonna do is just slice the edges off and then think potato chips or crisps. We're gonna slice these to about a couple of millimeters. Slices like that. I'm actually gonna bake these or par bake them in the pan so that they're soft enough to lay down as our base. And these are what we're gonna to use to build up the layers of the lasagna, adding the fish and the vegetables in between. Just coming up with the last yam, slicing it here. Now, if you can't use yam, normal white baking potatoes will work. Just remember that they have slightly higher sugar content compared to these yams. So, some places these are known as sweet potatoes or yams. Either one will work just fine. Okay, let's put them into our bowl. You can see we've got a bowl filled up with our four sliced yams there. And let's get these over to the pan. And I'm gonna take this pasta too to get cooking. Right, so I've got three pans on top of the heat here. One saucepan to put the pasta in. Let's get this open. I'll show you right now just how clean it is. One cup, this is compared to brown rice, and we're getting 43 grams of complex carbohydrates, only one gram of sugar, so that's barely gonna take an effect on the body. Plus six grams of protein, and very low fat too, so we're keeping this a good complex carbohydrate along with the yam. Give that about 15 minutes to cook. Next up, the yams. Again, I've got two frying pans here. I'm gonna use a little bit of this extra virgin olive oil just to add a base, even though they are non-stick. We want to keep all of the juices and that flavor locked into the yams. So low heat, and then this is really easy to do. Take our yams, make sure the pan is evenly covered and just lay them down, creating full coverage of the pan like that. Remember, we don't wanna fully cook these, we just wanna make them soft so that they're flexible and malleable to lay down around our fish and our shrimp. And then get the second one over here. These won't take long to cook at all, maybe two or three minutes each side on low heat, the lowest setting on top of the stove. Uh, so that's our yams and our pasta cooking. Now let's move on and focus on the next stage of this healthy lasagna. I'm gonna take the bowl again. Now normally you use a tomato-based sauce 
in between the layers of the beef and the lasagna pasta. Well, while tomatoes are great with their lipocene amounts, they are also quite high in sodium levels. So we want to keep sodium levels down so that our bodies don't retain excess water. So instead of the tomato sauce, I'm going to make my own base out of egg whites, this Parmesan cheese, and our green salad over here, which I'm using arugula salad. So let's get started with this. Four whole grain eggs. Just going to crack them and a little bit of jiggling separate the yolk. Now I've said before, the yolks aren't necessarily a bad thing. They do contain amounts of fat and cholesterol, but our bodies need a small amount of cholesterol and even the fats in here, especially if you're on a, a muscle gaining phase because it's that cholesterol that we need for our body to convert into testosterone. So there's a little training tip for you. But for now, we just want the egg whites to create that base. So four egg whites in there. Okay, next up, I'm gonna take a big handful of this Parmesan cheese. Again, when this is all mixed together and it goes in between our healthy lasagna layers, it's gonna give it an amazing texture and taste as well as keep that protein level up, even with the cheese, and especially from the egg whites. And then just dump that in there too. Okay. Now I have a few spices down here too. These are just single servings that I bought from the store. Again, keeping costs down and making this an extremely well economy-based meal. And this is some um, oregano. This is about a teaspoon that's going in. There we go. Next up, just take my fork and just mix it all in. Making sure that's all mixed together. Now remember, we haven't cooked any of this ingredient yet, so when this goes in the oven, which by the way, I've got set and preheated to 350 Fahrenheit, the egg whites and the cheese are gonna melt through and cook in between the potatoes, giving it that lovely creamy texture that we're used to within the lasagna. Done for that, I'm gonna put that to one side and move on to the main protein now, which we have salmon and shrimp. Now again, we're gonna slice the salmon and lay this down in between our pasta and yam layers. So taking my fish knife, I bought fresh salmon here. Look how easily it slices open. This is gonna be packed full of omega fats, the healthy kinds of fats that we need. You know guys, even if you're focusing on fat burning, you still need to keep the calories high. It's gonna be the cardio and the extra exercise that's gonna allow your body to burn more fat as fuel, which means we need to keep fats in the diet to allow our body to be able to burn them. Now this piece of salmon here is about six ounces, and when combined with the shrimp we've got here, balance out the carbohydrates and the protein. So right there, this is a big part of our balanced, whole grain, healthy lasagna. You can tell these are fresh because they still have their heads on. So I prefer getting these than frozen. We're just gonna remove the heads and the legs, and then just shell them like this. So we're gonna put these right into our lasagna. Now, move that to one side. Final thing we're gonna do here before we're gonna lay them down onto our yam layers and that whole grain pasta is add a few more spices to really bring out the flavors. So, got some turmeric here. Gonna sprinkle it over lightly again. This is all gonna get mixed in. And a bit of black pepper. And again, put that to one side, ready to go onto our layers. Next up, veg preparation. So let's start by peeling and slicing the mushrooms and these are gonna go on top of the fish along with the onions and red peppers. So these are just your everyday kind of white mushrooms. And what I'm doing is removing the stalk and then just peeling them so we get the meat of the mushroom below. Now I said I'm using these everyday white mushrooms but if you wanna play around and add a little bit more flavor in. Try portobello mushrooms. Same as the fish, if you wanna use a white fish instead of slightly higher fats, then uh, play about with something like haddock or cod. 
really so many different variations you can do with just one dish, which is why I love taking the restaurant dishes and just really messing them all up. Right, keep them in the bowl ready to add. And then let's move on to our peppers. Now, I'm just gonna remove the seeds because we don't want any of them in the lasagna. Just a sharp knife and peel them out and then Quick tap, make sure we've got them all removed from inside. Okay, this is freshly bought, store-bought, certified organic. So really, we are putting the best of the best into this dish. Now, look what I'm gonna do. Finely slice them. And I'm gonna lay these down in kind of a cross-hatch pattern over the fish. Again, just keeping everything locked in. And therefore, when we cut into it, we're getting this full display of color, taste, and all of the antioxidants and health benefits from this array of vegetables. They go in the bowl with the mushrooms. Next up, let's go with our onion. Two onions here, white onion and a red onion. Let's put our onion rings into our bowl of freshly prepared veg there. Moving on, let's get the red onion. Now, the more color we have in the foods, the greater the antioxidant properties. So deep dark reds like beets, red onions, and tomatoes are high in products such as uh, liposine, and also antifungal and antibacterial properties such as things like garlic. So we really are getting a full array of color, taste, and all of these great vitamins, minerals, and cancer-fighting properties. Moving on, avocado. Now we've already got a lot of our healthy fats from the salmon there, the omegas. We're gonna continue that with this avocado. You can tell how fresh it is. It just peels off like the skin of a banana. So digging your thumb down beneath the skin and just peeling it away. So I'm using about three quarters of a whole medium sized avocado here. Again, balancing out our protein, carbohydrates, and fats to what I think of as being pretty much the perfect balance for an everyday meal. 40, 40, 20. Meaning 40% 40 of that total calories in the meal comes from protein, 40% comes from complex, slow releasing carbohydrates, and 20% of the total calories come from healthy fats, which in this case are made up from the salmon and this avocado. Okay, and that's the tomato done. Right, I think we're just about ready. Over here we've got our plate of vegetables to go on top of the layers. We've got our protein there with the healthy salmon and the shrimp. We've got our spinach, parmesan, and egg white sauces to go in between. The only thing left is to check on the yams and pasta, which by my count, they're just about done. Let's get them off the heat and get them into the pot. So the yams look just about done. If we pick one up there, you can see it's Less than firm, just tender, easy to be able to lay down and position onto the pan. So we're gonna take them off the heat. Pasta looks about done. It's beautiful, soft. Great to lay it in between our yams. So take the yams back over and start with these. Just pop them down there. Now with our dish, which as you can see has been well used, this is just how often I cook and make dishes like this. I found that instead of greasing the dish, allowing that lasagna to slide easily out, I prefer using coconut oil. Now, yes, this has high amounts of fat, but they, again, good fats, and they contain a lot of MCTs, medium chain triglycerides. So again, this whole combination makes for a great lunchtime meal, giving you a slow release of energy throughout the rest of the day. So we're gonna use two tablespoons in like that. So will give it great flavor, especially at the bottom with the coconut and the yams infused together. And then I'm just gonna take a paper towel, and smear it all around the edges, making sure we get everything covered. Okay, that's our dish covered in our coconut oil. Now it's time for the creation or the building of our lasagna dish. So let's start with the big ones first. Just gonna tuck these down and create layers like that. This is why we needed to cook the yams first so we get some flexibility in them 
to be able to create the layers nice and tightly packed so that again all of the juices don't run down to the bottom. So let's get the pasta down there and start to put this on top of our yams. This is a really easy job. Quite hot so I want to make sure we keep that heat locked in helping to cook through to the yams. Again we can pack it in as tightly as you can. Okay, that's enough for our first layer. Now on goes our sauce. So we're creating three layers with our parmesan spinach or arugula salad and egg whites in between so we need enough for two. So I'm just going to scoop half of this out. Make sure we get as much all over the layers as we can. Well, the smell is already starting to smell like it's come straight from a restaurant. And now it's time to get our protein on the salmon and the shrimp. So again, we're creating nice thick layers here. And I wanna make sure each slice has a little bit of everything. So I'm just gonna position the salmon in between the shrimp like this. There we go, make sure we've got enough for another layer. Now time to add some vegetables on top. So let's move over and bring in our veg. Start by putting some avocado in between. This will kind of melt with the, uh, the heat as well, letting all these healthy fats seep down into the pasta and the yams. Add a bit more color, we'll put some tomatoes on top. And then a couple of rings of onion. Making sure we get both the red and the white rings on there. Final few, we've got our red peppers, which I said I'm gonna cross hatch over here. Now, of course, you can take your time to make this a little bit more presentable, but at the end of the day, this is making me hungry, so I wanna get this finished off and cooked, ready to put into the oven. Okay, and I'm just gonna break these off. We wanna keep this nice and chunky and full of flavor and texture, so I don't wanna slice everything. One more on top, okay. Let's get the top layer on and finish off this dish. So it turns out with the top layer on, we're pretty much up to the top of our dish here. But that's okay, as long as we have the bottom and the top with the yams either side, the pasta at the bottom and the meats in the middle topped off by the veg, we have our dish ready. This is just gonna be one big healthy nutrient packed lasagna so you can see from the sides there might not look too pretty but once it's done cooking and we slice into it and lift it off onto the plate you're going to see all of the different layers there with the yams the whole wheat pasta the fish the shrimp the salmon and then all of our vegetables plus remember we have that amazing parmesan arugula or you can use spinach and egg white kind of paste layered in between so there's our dish now I have the oven preheated to 350 Fahrenheit, so let's get that in there and set it for about 20 minutes. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, smells amazing, the color looks amazing, and it's super hot, so I'm gonna use these towels to move it around. And remember I said how to tell if it's cooked all the way through. We're gonna take a clean, sharp knife all the way through the middle. Now hopefully when we pull this out, it should be pretty clean on the, there we go. Pretty clean on the blade. So now the tricky part is to cut this and be able to get it out onto the plate. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold the edges. And cut a piece out here. Feels quite firm. It's the pasta and those baked jams now at the bottom. And 
what I'm going to do is we'll take a big piece out here. And then I'm going to take a spatula and just ease it around the edge. And here. Okay, let's see if I can get it out in pretty much one go. Slide it off. Tidy up there. Now is the taste test. You can see all of the layers have come out. There's a perfect clean shot. The yam, the pasta, right there. We have our salmon. And right there is a shrimp. And then on top, we've got the onions, the mushroom. You can see all of that sauce from the parmesan and the cheese that's come through. It smells delicious. Okay, let's take our knife and let's give it a cut. This is where it all falls apart, but by now, I don't care. We've got the food cooked. Get a bit of everything, there we go. See, putting those layers all stacked tightly on top of each other meant we can get a little bit of everything on one fork. So many different flavors in there. Still quite hot, but the fish, the fats, the cheese I can taste, everything balances out just like the nutrients and the macronutrients in this kind of healthy lasagna dish. 40, 40, 20. Protein, carbohydrates, and 20% of fat make up this pretty well balanced lasagna. So on that note, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my dish I've just created here. Let the rest cool down. Who knows, maybe I'll offer some to my friends. Maybe I'll keep the rest for me and you can see. Came out fresh and easy. Until next time, I'm Rob Riches. This is Fit Foods, and I'll join you next time when we make more lean cuisines right here in the kitchen. Bon appetit.